so, so uh, happy and proud to be in Boston. We, we didn't want to launch this tour anywhere else. Um, and we're, we're really thrilled to be here. And thank, thanks to all of y'all for, for being here as well. I just want to say um, one thing really about the book very quickly. I think I walked off, off stage on the live stream, so I'm going to come back in. Um, uh, about, about this book, um, which is that I wanted to try to write a, a novel about, about illness, but I also wanted to try to write a really funny um, book about life. Um, and in doing that, I had to grapple with what constitutes like a good and heroic life. I mean, that, that's really what The Fault in Our Stars is about. And even right there in the beginning, um, you see that Hazel and Augustus have very different worldviews when it comes to what a heroic life is about, because Augustus gives her this very violent video game novelization in which a certain kind of uh, you know, masculine sacrifice is celebrated, and that's the kind of sacrifice that we're used to seeing celebrated in romantic epics. Like, that's the kind of sacrifice that you see in, you know, Paradise Lost or Romeo and Juliet is uh, someone who cares so much about his country or his lover or whomever that he's willing to die for it and usually uh, does. Um, and that that idea of, of heroic sacrifice is so deeply ingrained in us that when we play video games, I mean, 100% of first-person shooters are about that and nothing else. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess secondarily they're about the, the pleasure of killing the pixels, but um, <laughs> but that's really what they're about at their core is that you get to live out this this heroic um, fantasy. And and I wanted uh, Hazel and and particularly Augustus to be forced to imagine different kinds of heroism and different kinds of lives well-lived, um, and, and to find definitions for lives well-lived that included um, shorter lives in which you don't get to jump on a grenade to save your buddies, and there are, there are other ways um, to, to live well and to live heroically. Um, and that was, that, that was in many ways the beginning of The Fault in Our Stars for me. I worked as a student chaplain in a children's hospital many, many years ago, and that's where I started to think about, think about that. Um, uh, although it wasn't for, for many years and uh, many blessings later that I was able to finally write the book. 